it's so cohesive. Like, um, I, I listen to the albums and it's and it's like, you know, it's, it's an easy listen, even though you guys are going through all these genres. How do you guys, like, make that so, I guess, seamless, like, so cohesive on one album? Because somebody <coughs> might listen to it and say, well, this is all over the place. What is this? Well, I think that's what it used to be. Like, when me and Bruno first were coming up, we were that way. So I, we would have this demo of songs that Bruno was singing, and I would take him to these labels, and it was all over the place. Because that's what our likes are. You know, I like rock, I like reggae, he does too, and we, we prayed that we wouldn't have to change. We were like, you know what, why can't we do that? Why can't we be what we want to be? Why can't we have a reggae song and a rock song? And a, who says that we can't do that? That's the, those are the conversations that we would have when we would go to the labels, and every single label would say, you're too all over the place. Pick a lane. You can't do reggae and rock. You can't do nothing. <laughs> and that's how it felt to me. I was like, ah. you know, but it goes back to that belief that it was just like, I don't care what you say. Listen to the content of the music. Listen to the voice. Listen to the lyrics. Did it make you feel good? You know what I mean? Because it wasn't even necessarily that they were knocking the work. It was just the breadth of the work was something that they couldn't understand. So, you know, when we, the thing that helped us take the reins was us producing our own stuff. 